Yo, what's happening, people? It's Ramon here with your Arsenal versus Liverpool preview for this weekend. Big, big game. Boy, obviously Arsenal coming off the back of a uh, a big uh, couple of wins against Newcastle and Burnley. Nothing spectacular, nothing huge, but six points nonetheless. And now the two teams at the top of the league fighting it out for the Premier League title as we are two games in. But nevertheless, Arsenal and Liverpool, first and second. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, I said last week the team's going to be predictable throughout the season, I think, for me, because I know what I think Arsenal's best team is. Now... Um, it's gonna, it's gonna, ch it's gonna change as and when as these players are fit, players drop out, players suspended, um, and also players that are on form. And obviously, last week, um, Danny De Bios stood out massively for everyone to see. He was man of the match. I gave him man of the match as well in my review. Um, so yeah, I was very, very happy of how he played. And for me, he's guaranteed a starting place in that team already. Just from that one performance alone, he's guaranteed a place in that starting lineup for this game at least. Um, away at Liverpool um, and listen Arsenal we know what it is and that Liverpool is a place in the past few years really that we've started to get a bit of a battering and we don't want to leave um, Liverpool fans knowing that actually Arsenal coming to Anfield is a guaranteed three points because if we start to get battered you know continuously at Anfield this is going to happen this is going to become a bogey side for us we can't win at Anfield don't know how to win away against the big team da -da 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 -da. so now we've got this new fresh team um, now we've got two ones under the belt morale's a bit high um, players are playing well it's time to go and establish that in our first big game of the season really um, so in terms of the team I'm going to go with um Leno in goal, he's been good, he's been solid, and as I said before, he's going to be our number one throughout the rest of the season. So expect him to be in goal for every game whilst he's fit. Um, obviously, right back, I'm going to go again with Maitland Niles. Um, Bellerin still working his way back from injury, so not yet fit and ready to play. And centre back, I'm going to go with has to be Socrates and David Luiz. Good uh, performance from both of them last week against Burnley, their first game together. Um, and it's interesting to have a David Luiz in there, a man who knows the Premier League already inside out. So when Chris Wood is jumping for that ball, David Luiz knows I got, I can stick one on him and it's cool. So yeah, we conceded a goal. It was an unfortunate deflection of Guendouzi and Barnes got to tap it in. But overall, defensively, I thought we were right. Uh, I thought we were a bit harsh at um, and some of the critics saying uh, in the first half about our defensive being a bit sloppy. I think actually over, over the course of that game and Newcastle game, um, we were good. So, uh, yeah, Daphne Louise's first game for Arsenal and his second game in an away from home fixture is going to be a Liverpool. So, yeah, straight into the fire. Um, left back, uh, I'm going to go with Monreal. Kalasinac came back last week, which was good to see um, after his mishaps um, outside, of the, outside of football. Um, so, yeah, he came back last week. And actually, when he came on the pitch, we went to a five at the back with Monreal going to centre-back and, and him going to, uh, to left wing-back. So it'll be interesting to see um, how that fear is going forward because I don't want to see it uh, five at the back. But uh, Kalasinac, I think we have to kind of realise now is he's more of a wing-back than a left-back. Um, defensively, he isn't there. So in this team, we're going to have to go with Monreal. Um, he's the better left-back, I think. Um, but listen, he ain't getting any younger. So we need Tierney to come in and start playing ASAP. Uh, he won't be ready till September, so yeah, for the time being, Monreal goes in there and let's see how he feels against Mo Salah again. Um, and then I'm going to go for an interchangeable 4 2 3 1. reason I say that is because when you play against a big 16, the middle of the park is so, so key. And the way Liverpool play it, I feel like if anywhere you're going to get at Liverpool, it's going to be, it's going to be in, in the middle of the park. Uh, and I'll tell you why. You've got Virgil van Dijk at the back. Um, obviously, they ain't got no Alisson in goal today. So that's definitely going to be a weak point. Get his shots off against Adrian. Looks sloppy uh, against Southampton. Um, but, you know, overall, you've got van Dijk at the back. You've got best, one of the best left backs in the country, if not in Europe at the moment, in Robertson. You've got Trent, who's, who's, who's great when he's on form, going forward. Um, 
and then Matip or Gomez, he can do a job at the back as well. And then obviously at the other end of the pitch, you've got Salah, Mane and Firmino. The less said about them, the better. Um, and then, you know, in the middle of the park, it's kind of the bit that I'm not sure Klopp knows always who his best three is. And I they ain't got cater for this game. Um, so we're going to maybe see a Fabinho, Henderson, Wijnaldum sort of thing. Or maybe a, a Milner comes in with his experience. Or maybe even bring back the Fox, the Ox back against Arsenal um, because he's basically their new signing this season um, back from um, from injury so you know it could be, could be one of them and I feel like it's not weak in the middle but it's the weakest part and I feel like if Arsenal's three in the middle do well um, and they drop into a three especially when defending which we're not used to doing especially when playing people like Meza Ozil in the middle of the park where it's not a natural thing to drop into a three it could work so I'm going to go with Jack is back in full training, um, so I actually expect him to be back on the pitch, to be honest. Um, I think he's going to be the captain for the rest of the season, so I expect him to be on the pitch um, tomorrow's game in a Liverpool-Arsenal game. And Torreira, I want to see next to him. Now, the reason I was hesitant with that was because we've been playing Willock and Guendouzi, and actually both have had a good start to the season, but... In this game, for me, it's about experience, it's about quality, and you have to play your best team. So, Torreira and, Gwen, uh, Torreira and Jaka, for me, are Arsenal's best two um, centre midfielders in the middle of the park. And then Guendouzi and Willock, uh, unfortunately, they come underneath that. So, yeah, I'm going to go with them two, and I'm going to go with Danny De Bios, as I said, guarantees his place in the squad. Um, and I think he could be that guy that drops deep, because... Against Burnley, there was times he was picking up the ball in the halfway line and driving forward. So it wasn't like a conventional number 10 where you're sitting behind a striker waiting to get the goal. But it was more like a... Um, it's more like a, a going into a free and, and um, going forward as a free at the back. In, in terms of um, the actual front free, I want to see Pepe. I think it's time. We saw him. He came on at half-time for, uh, for Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson hasn't been bad. But he hasn't been um, a good, good enough, really, to cement a place in that squad before Pepe comes. So for me, I'm going to go straight with Pepe on the right, Aubameyang on the left, Lacazette up top. Now, Aubameyang didn't have the greatest game against uh, Burnley uh, coming in from the left in that second half. But you could see there was times when he was, he was moving. There was a chance here. There was a chance he had against Burnley. I don't know if I spoke about it, when he just kind of took it in his stride. But he was like in the centre of the, the goal. So it wasn't even like... He, he moved over from the left wing into the centre and got the shot off and I feel like he's going to be like that throughout the season if he does start on the left wing expect him to be drifting expect him to be in the box when the ball's ripped in don't expect him to be hugging the sideline because he's a striker at the end of the day and he wants to get goals and if you, you saw literally the goal he did score great work from Danny Tabayo but he got the ball and was running at man he was running at uh, Bermi and Tarkovsky and just banged it from the edge of the area that's what he does man we know he's, he's got that and it was interesting to see at the end of the game, then we went to five at the back, we went 5-3-2 and stuck Pepe and Aubameyang up top. Again, we know Bam, um, Pepe um, can play up top, he played up top um, in France and he's, he scored goals. He scored 22 goals, i say, so we know he's a goal scorer. So we know that potentially if we have to go five at the back and one of them has to drop, one of them has to come off, one of them's a bit tired or one of them picks up a knock, we can go to five at the back and stick the two up top. So... I'm not worried that we're never going to see the best out of all these players playing out of position, but it'll be interesting to see what Emery actually does. Go for, he said that they're both, uh, Pepe's fit now, so yeah, expect him to play. Um, and then, I guess it's time to... What does Ramon go with in terms of the result this weekend, man? Because my gut tells me we can get a point, and a point at max. I actually feel like it's going to be one of them ones where it's a point at max. I'm going to respect Liverpool. But do I go with my heart or do I go with actually what my head's saying, which, I mean, which is saying it's going to be even difficult to come away from Anfield with a point the way Liverpool are playing this year. I know defensively they've had their critics, but yeah, in terms of going forward, some of the best front three we had in the Premier League um, this season. So I'm going to go with Liverpool 3, Arsenal 1. Uh, I feel like we will score. We, we, we do tend to score that one goal, whether it will be after the three or before the three, we tend to get a goal there. Um, 
especially with, their, with not, them not having a goalkeeper. But I feel like their firepower will be a bit too strong for our defence. Of course, I'm hoping I'm proven wrong and I hope Arsenal do take the win. But yeah, I'm going to go with Liverpool to win this game 3 1. Um, but yeah, offer me a draw right now. I'll snatch your hand off for it. Guys, this has been an Arsenal Liverpool preview. See you soon.